guys and welcome back to my channel so today we have got a face mask review that we're going to be doing I did say we was going to do the mermaid one but this is a sheet mask and I want to do a lot of talking while we let this set and do its magic so I decided not to do this one and we are going to move straight on to the pound shop ones for today these are new in store they've probably been in there for a while now I don't know how long I've had these waiting in my box but anyway we're going to do these so we've got kale and coconut they both have near enough the exact same ingredients so I'm just going to choose one and I think we're going to go for the kale today uh, so just put that one in there so yeah we're going to go for the kale which is the green and then the tub just looks like that I have my little spatula thing going on here so um, yeah I'm going to apply it and then we're going to start talking so, we're going to talk about things that have been happening, a little bit of updates, um, things like that. There's been some good things and there's been some not so good things that have been going on. I'm just getting this rubbish off here. Anyway, let's get into this. So, ooh, smells nice, very refreshing. Reminds me a little bit of Nivea. I don't know why I keep thinking of Nivea. I'm probably way off the mark there with the scent. That's what it reminds me anyway, like a hand cream. Um, contains natural ingredients once open, last 12 months. Uh, suitable for vegetarians. And this, basically the ingredients, I'm not even going to read it out, guys, because it is the same as this one. So the weather is really bad here today. Absolutely raining. I have my mirror, which I'm just going to put here, and we're going to start applying this. So, let's do this. I'm looking forward to this. I haven't tried these yet. So, so let's talk. So, a couple of weeks ago, uh, we was coming back from shopping on a Monday. Um, and my dad pointed out to me that there was a cyclist laying in the middle of the road. So, that was quite concerning. Luckily, there were some other people with this person, uh, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to be the good neighbour that I am and go up the road and see if I can help. Um, I asked them if they wanted me to ring an ambulance or do they need extra um, quilts, pillows, anything. Um, but they said that they had it all under control, so I was like, okay then, if you want me, I'm just on the corner. My house is just on the corner. So, they were very thankful for that. So, yeah, at least I offered to give help. Uh, what had actually happened was, we actually live on a hill. Um, and a cyclist was coming down, it was a woman. She was coming down at full speed and just collapsed on the bike at full speed so she came flying off the bike and landed in the middle of the road outside somebody's house um the woman who lives in the house actually witnessed it all she was the first person on the scene and then a bloke was to arrive who rang the ambulance the bloke rang the ambulance um but yeah and apparently the cyclist couldn't remember anything at all. So that's a little bit of a mystery right there. Uh, so I don't know anything else apart from the ambulance did come. We saw it go past the house. They took that person away on a stretcher. And um, yeah. So I hope that that woman is feeling a lot more better now because it was pretty bad she couldn't move at all on the floor it was quite scary to see that to be honest but um yeah i just hope that she has a speed recovery and she's okay the woman was like in a middle <clears throat> excuse me middle aged um yeah, so there's that. Okay, so we have applied it. It feels nice and cool. Um, and 
I'm just going to let this do its job now while we chat away for 15 minutes, 10 minutes. So, what we're going to talk about now is more life updates. Hi, Mum. Hi. So, um, that was my mum. She's just saying hi. So, I'm just going to wipe this off now. But that is on. So, um, yeah. I've been wanting to do this face mask for so long, but things keep popping up, as always, in personal life. So, finally, we're getting it done. We're getting some story times done also so that was the first thing that happened the poor lady that collapsed in the middle of the road off a bike um then i have now got a date for my operation so excited for that guys so i have now got a date for my operation i'm having it done on the 11th of august I've got to be at hospital at 7 o'clock in the morning. Not so pleased about that, so I'm going to have to set off at like 5 in the morning. So that's a little cray-cray, but it's going to be worth it, guys. It's going to be worth it. So, um, yeah, there's that. Good news. Uh, then there was some news about mum. So my mum has finally fully healed with her wound with a cyst, it was an infected abscess actually. So yeah, she's now fully healed with that. But then she's kind of gone back downhill again. So what's gone on is while she was in hospital, she actually picked up a disease called C. diff. And it is actually very, very toxic. It is very life-threatening. It is a killer. Uh, the drugs to get for this medication is very, very rare. The doctors where we live actually phoned up 10 different places and they could not get it anywhere. But eventually we found it, funnily enough, at the chemist in Tesco. <laughs> as silly as it sounds, but they, thank goodness, had it in stock. So me and my dad went and got it the next morning. And she's nearly finished that course now. So um, she's got enough to last it all tomorrow. Then she has to do some more tests on Monday to see if it's gone. If not, then she's back on the antibiotics again. But um, this C. diff is very, very serious. We're now suing Stepping Hill Hospital. We are actually going to sue them. We're in the middle of the process of doing that because it's not fair on my mum. She's been in a lot of pain. She's crying and it's just not right. It's not fair. So that's going to be dealt with. Um, yes, I have decided I'm going to try and start uploading videos again on my new channel. Uh, yeah, I've just decided we're going to see what happens and... We'll see. So there's that. So this actually feels like it's warming up on my face. I don't know if it's meant to do that. Um, this company is also against animal testing. Brilliant. And it's made in the UK, which is great. Also has the address on the bottom. So there's all of that. This was only a pound out of the pound shop, of course. So... It says here, all hail for kale with our smooth and creamy face mask, enriched with kale, aloe vera and vitamin E to moisturise and nourish your skin. Apply a generous layer to a freshly cleaned face, which I already did, and sit back and relax. Leave the mask to dry for 10 to 15 minutes until touch dry. Splash your face with warm water and rinse off. We recommend using weekly. However, you can use as often as your skin requires. Relax and enjoy. So there's that. This is a 75ml tub. Yeah. All sounds really, really good. Beautifully scrumptious kale. Face mask, all hail for kale. So that's that. I don't know what else to tell you about this mask apart from it does actually feel nice. So yeah, the weather's been a little bit dodgy. We have had 
gorgeous, gorgeous sun, sunshine for a change in the UK. Um, yesterday it was raining, we had one flash of lightning, big massive rumble and then that was it. Nothing else after that and today it was just pouring it down but now it looks like it's brightening up so it's a little bit eh, you know. So yeah, I've got all new diamond paintings are in. Um, I've done a brand new shipment off AliExpress, my first ever one, so that's really exciting. So yes, I got weighed last week and I've lost another half a stone. I'm happy with that. Um, on the 28th of this month, I go for my pre-op. That's where they're going to take blood from me, my height, my weight, um, some other random stuff that they need to do to get me all prepared for my pre-op, which means then I have to go on a liquid diet. I can actually choose from a liquid diet or food diet, but if you go on the food one, it's more complicated. You have to weigh every single bit of food before you cook it. You have to weigh it all out. Um, you can only have 900 calories every day for two weeks but then you got that and then you've got your liquid diet where again you can only have 900 calories but I can do slim fast which I'm used to doing slim fast now so I think that's going to benefit me the most I think I'm gonna live a lot more easy on four week on the liquid diet so yeah I've got three meals which will be slim fast. Then I can have 200 ml of milk. That's my daily allowance every day. Uh, I can have fruits. They've got to be like small or medium size, nothing large. Uh, so yeah, that is it. Oh, and I have to have two liters of water every day without fail. So yeah, it's going to be really interesting. There's no solids that will be entering my mouth on the starting from the 28th of this month for two weeks. Then we go in for the operation and then after that, it's another two weeks where I have to still stay on the liquid diet and then we can start moving on to the more very, very soft textured like yoghurt, I guess. Maybe a bit rougher than yoghurt, I'm not too sure. But this is why we've got to go for the pre-op to definitely know what's going on. Um, also in the in the pre-op stage I have to start taking special vitamins as well. That's got to be done. Uh, so yeah, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. I cannot wait. I've just, just received in the post this morning my new pyjamas. I'm waiting for my dressing gown to turn up. I have new things i will also do a video of what am i taking to hospital i'll do that video uh so yeah i'm really really looking forward to it very excited uh, so yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say about that one but as for my mum with this c diff um basically she caught it out of hospital um and it's to do with diarrhea there's like this really strong bug in her diarrhea and um, it's the worst thing that you can catch from hospital apparently so the doctors have told us it is the most dangerous disease that you can catch and it is the worst one to get rid of basically uh, that's why they have rare medicine for it if you basically the doctors have told my mum that she can only use one towel and one flannel obviously she's got to wash them and that but once she's got rid of the C. diff, she has to bin that towel and flannel because this disease does not, you can't get rid of it. So my mum has had accidents, bless her, where she has pooed on the floor with diarrhoea in the bathroom, in the bathroom only. Okay, so she has done that. Then she's using the sink to wash herself. Um, obviously the bins are getting used and the toilet seat, she's pooed all over that before. So what we have to do now is as soon as my mum gets cleared of it, we're going to have to rip the whole bathroom out. 
um, and put in a fresh one otherwise we're just going to keep circling and there is that thing where me and my dad can catch it it's very very high catchable basically so there is that chance where we can catch it when I clean the bathroom I wear gloves now uh, whereas before I didn't but now I do have to wear gloves you cannot get rid of C. diff by bleach or any cleaning tackle, it will not shift it. Your floor might look cleaner, your bathroom suite might look cleaner, but the bug is there. You, can, it's, you can't get rid of it. So the only way that you can get rid of it is by ripping all the floor up and starting again. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rip the floor up, we're putting a new toilet seat on, we've already got rid of one of the bins, so we need to get rid of the other bin. The... Um, clothing bin is going to have to go as well so yeah it's just mayhem really is towels are going to have to be binned mum's underwear is going to have to be binned everything we're just going to have to start from scratch so yeah my mum is in a lot of pain at the minute but um she's getting there you know she has ups and downs basically um, as for my mum's diabetes, she's got all of that under control now. That is excellent. Really, really good. Uh, yeah, my diabetes are doing good. I've got to go doctors today and get some um, top up of my diabetic medicine. Uh, looking at the sky right now, it's really, really dark. Looks like we're going to get some more rain. Yay. <laughs> uh, Roxy has not been herself recently. Um... I don't know it's scary yesterday when it thundered now whether if she knows because i know animals do know when the thunderstorms are coming but i don't know she has been a little bit down so i don't know what's going on with her i might have to get her in the vets for a checkup but apart from that everything else is okay i need to tidy my room disaster zone again i'm sick of it guys i've had enough of my bedroom I'm thinking of downsizing everything in this room because it is driving me potty. I mean, I'll clean. I'll spend one day full on not cleaning it but tidying it. Then the next day, it's just a mess again. So clearly, I have too many things in my life, and I'm gonna have to downsize half this bedroom. I think so. That's gonna have to be done. So yeah, I'm super super stoked that I got my date from the operation it's finally feeling more realistic so yeah it's great so what i'm going to go do now is this mask has been on for 15 minutes i am now going to go and we are going to come back and let you know the results of the freshness so i have washed it off i'm just gonna sorry about that so yeah i've washed it off my face feels super super duper smooth I'm absolutely in love with this. Oh, it feels so smooth and good. I love it. Really feels fresh and nice. So I definitely recommend picking this one up, trying it. Um, yeah, it was easy to get off. Very, very easy, in fact. Um, I don't know what else to say, apart from I really, really like it. Super duper smooth. Feels like it's got all the dirt out, actually. I don't know if that's what it's meant to do, draw all of the rubbish out of your face, but that's what it feels like it's done. Which, if that is what it has done, then I guess that is a bonus. But it doesn't say that that's what it's meant to do. But that's what it feels like it's done, guys. It feels really good. So I'm going to leave it there now, guys. I'm so happy that we did this video. Um, long time coming, I know. But uh, we got there in the end, anyway. So yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. I'm going to try this one later tonight after my bath. But um, yeah, I really, really am happy with those. So thank you so much for joining us today in this video, taking a bit of time out of your life. I appreciate it. I, pre I appreciate every single one of you, of course. So yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. If you have not yet become part of the Sparkle family, then please do sprinkle some of that glitter on that subscribe button and make my day a little bit brighter. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.